Steve and Voss at Hurricane Electric with the IPv6 update number 41. Some of you might be familiar already with the Broadband Forum, a global consortium of telecom equipment, computing, networking, and service provider companies. Their major shtick is to cover cutting edge IP specifications for broadband. Earlier in December, the Broadband Forum held one of their conferences in San Francisco, California and discussed topics like DSL quality management, unified MPLS, hybrid fiber copper for fourth gen broadband, and of course IPv6. The Broadband Forum's method of releasing information comes in the form of technical reports. In this case, technical report number 177 focuses on network architecture that enables operators to support IPv6, building on prior technical report number 101 for Ethernet DSL aggregation. The technical report applies to two basic scenarios. In the first, a subscriber has a routed residential gateway that is connected to the access loop directly or through a bridged residential gateway. In the second scenario, a subscriber has a bridged residential gateway where the first hop router for their hosts is a broadband network gateway. Stateless address auto configuration is supported in both scenarios in order to obtain link local addresses and perform duplicate address detection. Technical report number 177 attempts to describe how stateless address auto configuration can be used for global address assignment with N1 VLANs and bridged residential gateways. In order to check out the report from the Broadband Forum, feel free to follow the links below in the webcast description.